like all just let me know what the uh what the mic quality sounds like all right guys what's going on welcome welcome today we are gonna be building Kessel a little bit it's been quite a while I was away the past weekend and I haven't really gotten a chance to work on it that much um, we are joined today by the the wonderful legendary guy brick so Garrett how you doing today I'm doing great, my friend. Thank you for having me on. You got it, bro. You got it. Uh, the plan is to hopefully get Ryan and our productions on in like an hour and a half or so, um, and then there's an open invite to a few other people too. So we'll see how they if they get here. Um, but I know we're streaming kind of late, so I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, like I said before, I've not I've not I've not touched Kessel for probably a week, so it's gonna be probably like a two two and a half hour stream. I do have some stuff to do tomorrow morning, but uh, let's see. What we got up in chat here. We got Clear Brick Studios, Boba Fett Lego. What's going on? Hey, Nightbot's here. What a surprise. Lego Hub 1, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Collecting Bricks. What's going on, everyone? Before we get started, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. You guys know how, how it works. What's up, Jalen? Jalen, open invite. I know you're watching uh, the Texans or whatever football team you are watching, but open invite. Just hop in the chat whenever you want, man. Uh, Red, Red is Sanico. What's going on? Admiral Snack Bar. Hashtag pro for an on-screen death. Maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day. All right. So today's stream is actually going to be consisting of me fixing the mountains. So I made a big oof when I did this, and I didn't really plan ahead. So if you guys can see right here, basically there's there are wedges under here, um, and that's not good. I have to make it regular plates. So I actually have to take down the mountain and then put plates under it and then rebuild it. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I am going to build the Falcon a little bit tomorrow off stream. Just I want to kind of enjoy my build time with that. Um, but yeah, so we're basically going to be redoing this entire plate right now, uh, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. We're going to be chilling out today. That is a big oof, my friend. It is. I and I already did part of it too, but it is a huge oof. Um, I did not anticipate that. So, well, now I know, but that's okay. <laughs> Lego Hub One says, "Glad your live man was bored. Appreciate that. Happy I can. I happy I can give you something to do." Coco, what's going on? Texas Smash. I guess you're a Texans fan. Collecting Bricks says, "Time out, <laughs> time out. Where are the Elf PJ pants? This is not a Kessel stream without them. The Elf PJ pants. It's too hot in my room right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. So those will be on hopefully the next stream. Guys, we only have four likes and there's 20 people watching. Get on it, people. What are we doing today? You need to get on your game." Guys, every time you don't like a stream, a puppy goes and a, a, makes a puppy sad. <gasps> Bryce is here. Hey, Bryce. How are you doing today? How's college life? Oh, Bryce applied to Lego store, too, so let me know how that goes. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Bryce, if you're free and you want to hop on, let me know, bro. You can get up in here. <laughs> Time out. Where is the Louis Vuitton scarf? Dude, I don't have one, but I do have the Boyo chain since you forgot it at Virginia. I still have that though, don't worry. That's gonna be safe and sound. How do you feel about Ryan's 100,000 sub special? It was, it was cool, it was unique. Ryan, what, I don't, at least I don't think Ryan's like the big guy to celebrate like that. Like he knows it's a big milestone, but he was just kinda like, oh, I hit 100. Okay, let's just keep going. Like that's kinda his mentality, so. Um, but it was fun, it was entertaining. Uh, Bryce is doing good, just bored on my walk to my econ class, so I figured I'd stop by. Oh, that's right, you're in California, so you still have classes. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, if we're still live, Bryce, and you pop in and you wanna join, let me know. But uh, have fun in your econ class. So, which minifigures are you using for Kessel? Um, just the normal figures that come in the set, and then I have a design for the, um, like the trooper or whatever from Kessel. Also, do want to give a huge shout out to my my boy Rich Boy Jay here for hooking it up with these Kessel Mine Troopers or Kessel Mine Workers. Um, coming in clutch with that, it's gonna be very very helpful. And also to my friend Elijah, who pretty much gave me a whole like hundreds of parts for practically free. Um, so yeah, shout out to those two guys before we get started. And real Lego Man production, what's going on? Okay, so I have, yeah, this is an oof moment, but I have to, I have to do it. So at least get it out of the way. So I gotta unfortunately I have to take down this whole entire base plate, which sucks, but that's okay. So Garrett, what are you up to tonight, my guy? It's a good question. I don't know. I was, <laughs> just got off work, so I had some food. I'm just kind of chilling. Chilling. I feel that. Either, I feel that. Either gonna start work on a on a mock project or. Just play some video games. So. Gotcha. Mock project okay. sounds interesting. Yeah, I probably should start it. <laughs> I probably should do. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though, guys. November seventeenth is a day you're not you're not gonna want to miss. So stay tuned for that. And that's all I'm going to say right now, because I'm, I'm edgy like that. 
What's up, Boba Fett Lego? Really excited for the Overwatch sets. Honestly, me too. They look nice. Um, I really want to get the Bastion set. I don't know, Garrett, have you played Overwatch before? Nope. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with it. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played it either. Um, I know David's a big guy on Overwatch. He, I think he made a video about the sets as well. Um, I think I commented on it too. But it looks pretty cool. I'm liking the design of them. Um, but yeah, I'll probably pick one up eventually. What is your mock project? Boba Fett Lego, that's a great question. Uh, November 17th, you guys will know. Follow the Empire Log, Instagram, all that good stuff. Because um, you guys are going to be very, very excited with what's coming. So stay tuned for that. All right, Red Sanico, appreciate you stopping by, man. How, make, how am I making L3? Um, I think a fan sent me a, a, like an image of one. I'm probably just going to mimic it. It looks really good. Um, so I will do that. But I have, I have pretty much everything, everything's in motion now. We're in that like stage of the mock where I have, you know, my final, not final, but I have the majority of the parts orders coming in very soon. I literally have like 15 Bricklink packages coming for the Falcon um, to convert it when I'm done building it. So um, sh it should be going by pretty smoothly now. It's just college with midterms and finals, as I'm sure Garrett can attest to that. It gets very annoying. Yeah. It's not fun, but it's life, whatever. Oh, Matt, by the way, I have my computer back up and running, so if you want to oh, play some yes. Empire at War or Battlefront. Do I see you fix it or you got a new one? No, so I mean, I'm planning on building a new one, but I, I basically replaced the parts that I needed to to get it back up and running, and I reinstalled my OS, so oh, it's, all, sweet. It's, all, it's all good. Sweet, sweet. What's up, Haran? He says, come on, man, dude, you have to go live right when I go to bed, bro. That's when, that's when, that's why you're a mod, though. Only moderators have that internal strength to pull through when they're about to go to bed and they see me go live. <laughs> Bryce says, did I hear Empire War? Yes, Bryce. We haven't done that in a while. Um, I'm, I've just been super busy the Sunday night Empire War streams, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get to that. I thought L3 came with the Kessel Run. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Lego did not make an L3 figure, to my knowledge. Nope. Yeah. Not yet. Not anyway. yet. Hopefully we get one. Although I mean the custom designs are really really nice, so I'm just gonna stick with those probably. Can you start a Thrawn's Revenge series on Empire at War? A lot of people have been asking me to do like single player campaigns on Empire at War. Is that something you guys would want to see? Because like I'm totally down for that, but I just don't know how. Like, the Empire at War streams don't do the greatest. I mean, obviously this is a Lego channel. Um. But they don't tend to hold retention with audience. Like it's not really that long where we have a good amount of people watching. So I guess just let me know. What's up, Zandy boy? At first glance, I thought that was a fire truck. Oh, the the back of it because of all the red. Gotcha. <laughs> this is making me sad. Taking apart. I'm so mad at myself for this oof. It's not even funny. I missed the Battlefront streams. I gotta bring those back. I do have to bring those back. Those are fun. Wait, Gary, do you have Battlefront too? Yeah, remember right? we, yeah, played, we played. We played, we played all the time. You guys can definitely expect us coming back now because I got my main, my main partner back. Those space battles, though, gonna get back on that grind. Oh yeah, that was fun. We should actually do that this weekend. Yeah, I should be available maybe Saturday night. Ooh, me too. Yay. I know I'm going to a football game on Saturday, but that's at 2.30, so should be good after that. What's going on, Ogle? I can't wait for the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon that you're making. I, I cannot wait either. That's going to be uh, quite the spectacle. Should be very, very fun. Very interesting. I know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. That's going to be... It's going to be hard, honestly. Um, it's going to look clean. It sounds so much easier. Like, I like I just did a simple color swap on LDD, but, like, actually swapping it's going to be pretty hard. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, you have, you have quite the task. That's going to be a, a very... It's going to be a time-consuming process. Like, there's literally going to be multiple streams of me, like, throughout maybe a month of just me taking apart the Falcon and putting in new parts. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be gonna be interesting. Should be fun. The lights are gonna make it look awesome though. So, oh yeah, for That's sure. That's gonna be dope. Also, gotta shout out the sponsor, Brick Stuff, guys. If you guys not know, Brick Stuff is sponsoring the build. I got a whole bunch of lights already from them. Um, and if you want to save ten percent, use that coupon code TBWiz10 on their website. I know a good friend has already, or he is going to use it too. So, 
there you go. I'm not building right now because I have to take this the, the mountain apart, so that's why I'm not building for the first like 25 minutes or so. All right, Bryce, see you later, man. Uh, what part of castle am I doing? So I kind of explained this before, um, but basically, if you see here, there's wedges on uh, like the mountain. And then there's wedges and then the mountain. Basically, the wedges have to be taken out and replaced with regular plates. So I have to take down the entire mountain and and redo it. So it's not a fun process, but you gotta do it. What we call an oof. It is an oof. I'm still I'm still a wee young lad in mock building, so that's my excuse. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna demolish it and like go from there. You should just quit Lego. <laughs> I should. What's up, General Hux? BJ Vitz, what's going on, everybody? Guys, can we get 20 likes? Can y'all can y'all be my best friends for tonight and give me some 20 likes? Make me feel nice and nice and toasty on the inside. <laughs> he says rip mountains. Yeah, it's okay though. It's a, we're on that grind though. We're on that grind. It's all good. Drop it like crate. Drop it like crate. At least this time the mock destruction isn't intentional. So we're or is intentional. Never mind. All right, see a snack bar. Peace out, homie. All right, that's gone. I just need to grab the plates really fast. And now I have a wireless mic, so I could actually talk to you guys while I'm like walking about, which is awesome. I'm about to unbox the new Google Pixel 3 from Verizon, the network chosen by Google. <laughs> you just sounded like an ad placement, or like a paid advertisement right there. <laughs> that check, that check hitting. <laughs> always be plugging, boys, always be plugging. My phone's been acting up, so I'm not sure if I want to want to get that, that new spicy iPhone or not. It's got that 4K 30fps, though. Some lit stuff. I have a bag of sunflower seeds and I'm set for the whole stream. Sunflower seeds are the bomb. It's all about the flavor. What flavor what flavor is it, Ogle Bricks? That's a that's big. That's a spicy iPhone. I think if I got a new phone, I'll just get the next note. I've been all about those notes. You've been all about the note, that note game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a typical iPhone guy. I'm not willing to change. All iPhone all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, I can appreciate the devotion. I I had an S4. I don't know. I just didn't. Not that any particular particular phone was bad. It was just like I would just I just felt more comfortable with the iPhone because that's what I've been using. So uh -huh. that's pretty much it. I'm not I'm not I'm not like blind to Apple's suckiness though at times. Lies, deception. I just found your channel about a month ago. Glad I did. Can I get a what's up, Chief? <laughs> all right, Seth. First of all, thank you for joining. And what's up, Chief? Just regular? <laughs> oh, Ogle Bricks. You gotta go for that ranch, bro. That ranch is on point. Hey, shout out to my, <laughs> shout out to my man Sheev Palpatine up in the chat. What's going on? Collecting bricks, I'm gonna need you to calm down. You're getting out of hand. <laughs> Wait, who is? Who's, who's Danny? <laughs> That's a. Uh, you were there for that, right? Was that that stream? Oh, yeah. when what, some what? random dude named Daddy came up in the chat, and I was like, "Hey, da oh." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. "This is awkward." 
But with his, I don't know, Garrett, are you a big fan of uh, sunflower seeds? Uh, they're alright. They are fantastic. They're, they're like, I have to be in like a mood for them, you know? I can feel that. Honestly, I mean, the, only, great... the only mood I ever am in with them is like, if I'm like, playing baseball or something. Oh yeah, I, no. I they're great like... to have something to just like, munch on or yeah, chew on, I wouldn't you know? casually... That, that, that's just weird if you like casually eat sunflower seeds in my opinion yeah it's it's like a it's like a stimulus food you know it's like it gives you something to, something to do mm. <sighs> CT7567 asks can you add me in Kessel when it's done maybe or do I have to donate $15 um oh is that one of the tiers that I have listed down below shout out well if you want so the way it works is 15 is for the shout out at the end of my next video so whatever video I make next um which will actually probably be the Kessel video um so yeah if that, so you do have to donate that and then at the end of the video I do a very like a quick overview of um anyone who reached out th that threshold so that's how like the tiers work and stuff right, let's get back to rebuilding this Dang a mountain. Trying to re-download Origin right now so that we can have some Battlefront 2 ready to go. Gotcha. Is that Origin? Mm-hmm. Damn, I've I have not played Battlefront 2 in the longest time. EA owned, so True. Anything that EA puts out is gonna be on Origin. Good old EA. Electronic Arts. Does the like, mod squad get to be in Kessel? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, are you are you doing sig figs for for Kessel? I want to, but like I don't. I also want to like not spend money. <laughs> <laughs> so we we reach an impasse when it comes to that. Um, if you have like an easy sig fig that costs like nothing to make, or I have it, then I'd be down. Like Ogle, what is your? Was is that just a cap? Is that just a phasma sig fig? Like I have that. So I don't honestly I don't know. I would love to though, because I like I do appreciate the mod squad for being here and chat and stuff. Um, but also money is an issue. So I'm sure we'll figure out something. I demand a sig fig to be in it. Well, we'll we'll have legendary boyos in it for sure. Legend status. I've I've made my I've I've earned my keep. Collecting Brick says, what if the mods send you a sig fig? Yes, I will definitely put it in there then. Um, like I said, it's just, I'm not sure if at the end of Kessel how much ex extra funds I'll have laying around to, to spend on it. CT7567 says, oh yeah, good old Battlefront 2. Hey Garrett, if you can hear me, are you excited for Grievous? Uh, is Gre are they adding Grievous to Battlefront 2? Yeah, I haven't played in forever. It's, so. it's not in there yet. I think it's what, like October 30th or something? So it's like a, it's like a spooky spooky season. So oh, spooky. That should be fun though. Actually, we should totally yeah we'll we'll get on that. I do miss the Battlefront two streams. Those were fun. I remember though. I only like my computer doesn't run the actual game very well, but it was I I, I can play uh, the the space whatever battles. this the Starfighter. Yeah, this yeah. I love the space battles. Yeah, but we, we'll we'll do more. Out. Well, I think what well, what we did was we did the biggest ver like the conquest version. So maybe if we tried doing like the, the small like ten on ten or sixteen on sixteen or whatever, we could mm -hmm. try that. But yeah, space is always a good option because space is always lit. This is fun. Plus, we can role play as like uh like pilots, you know. Like, oh yeah, we could be super yeah. technical in our terms. Yeah, we can be. Like, you can be. Like, I'll be like red seven, and you can be red, <laughs> red nine. We just have to. It'll, the only thing that sucks is like if you if I if myself or you die, and we're like on the other side, and then I spawn in. It's like awkward. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Or every time we die, we have to pick a new call sign. So by the end of the match, pick red forty nine. 
<laughs> red 107. <laughs> That's what it'd be like. <laughs> that would be better as like the Empire. Like, that is C definitely what it would be. 176 inbound. CT. TTT. CT says, "Oh, I don't like the space battles. It's so hard. It is hard. Um, if you guys are, if you guys play the, um, the 2015 Battlefront 2, it was super easy though, because you could just auto lock and then you never lost them. It was like an easy kill." Yeah. No, I, I love I love the space battle. The new, yeah, the new version is, is definitely superior for sure. Why don't you just? Because why, wait, what did I say? Why don't you just battle on Kessel and Battlefront? What? Oh, like the game mode? I, I mean, I don't really need... I mean, we could do that. Garrett, have you played on the Kessel map? No, I haven't played Battlefront. The last time I played Battlefront 2 is probably the last time you and I played. Oh, okay. I mean, it's fun. It's it's like smaller objective-based, so that might work for Garrett's computer, but it's like it's nothing special. Like, I'd rather play like, play like an awesome space battle or something. Uh, Ninjago Master says, I'm building a ho uh, building Hoffman Lego, and if you have any tips for building large-scale locks, it would help a lot, as I'm building two 36 by 36 base plates, and five 36 by 36 long. Okay, so it's a pretty decent sized mock. Um, my tips, it's kind of the same with every mock, whether it's small or big, is just know what you're doing beforehand, get like some reference material, um, don't go in blind is my experience, because that's how you'll not only waste time, but waste money. Um, Garrett, I don't know, what, do you, what would you add to that? Um, I don't know. I feel like you said pretty encompassing. Yeah. Pace yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Sends you a pick of my sick figure on G. Okay, I'll check that in a little bit. Oh, JJG says they change it so you can spawn on your teammates. Can you do that in Space Assault too, Or is that only for, like, the land battles? Because that was a super annoying thing. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only on Galactic Assault. Oh, that's so stupid. Well, I guess it's not, because that would be unfair to spawn out of thin air <laughs> in, a, in a StarCraft or something. Yeah. But hey, at least they're making progress. At least they're doing something good. Alright, first layer done. What's up, CL Con? How you doing? Okay. Building this mountain again sucks. Oh my god. When I have a chance to improve on anything you might have felt lacked previously. Yeah, that is true. I I did I already see like a noticeable difference in the first section that I rebuilt. The colors are more grouped together, which I liked. Which I like now as opposed to they were kind of sporadic, so it all works out a little bit. Yeah, I feel you. I don't know how it was for you and Crate, but I feel like with a lot of mocks, it's like, I feel like I'm changing almost everything all the time. Like, it's never just, oh, I'll do this, and then it's done. Oh, yeah. No, because, like, I mean, because especially after you, like, build something, you have a much, you know, you can look at it, and you can go, oh, I could have done this instead, or, like, oh, I could easily have made this better. And it's like, you know, undoing it and changing it, you know, even though that takes time and it feels like you're wasting time, it still is, like... If the end result's gonna be better, then mm -hmm. it's hard to hard to argue against it. Yeah. Luke Van Campen says he's joined the Discord. Awesome, man. Running quick with the bricks. What's going on? Can't wait for the Anakin Obi Wan in Battlefront Two. That should be pretty cool. I don't know when that's coming out though. Or is that is that a part of the? I can't imagine it's part of the new the the grievous update. I would not know. CT says, "What? See Garrett, not Matt. Could you go look at my last comment? Just type it again." 
probably the easiest. His previous... Okay, I found it. It says, I expect to make Grievous max level. I have three heroes that are maxed out, and my officer is maxed out, too. Oh, boy. Do you have any maxed out characters, Garrett? No, I do not. I don't have anyone near me maxed <laughs> yeah. out. I really don't spend too much time, like, fiddling around. I just kind of, like, hop in and play. That's pretty much it. Probably, yeah, I don't... It would probably help oh, yeah. if we kind of looked into that, but I just don't. I don't think I opened a single loot box while I was playing. You probably have a whole bunch waiting for you when you log in. I don't know. It should be exciting. Obi-Wan's coming in November? Oh, okay, cool. Hello there. What's up, Ginger Bricks? Spent ten racks on a new chain. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. We gotta bring the uh, the old Hamilton sing along streams back. <laughs> Those are great. I'm always down for some Hamilton songs, bro. It's been a while since I've sang those songs. Boba Fett says, damn, Matt. Oh, God, that voice cracked, though. Oof. I feel like it didn't happen. Boba Fett says, dang, Matt, Matt, I like the singing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I take pride in my singing. I think it's the greatest singing of all singings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you adding droids to Kessel? Um, the only droids that'll be in there are going to be the ones that are in, the, like, the control room. Um, but other than that, most likely not. Maybe, like, an Easter egg of, like, R2 and C-3PO or something, but... Other than that, no. <laughs> Ginger says, five hours and five views. I'm balling in them views. There you go, bro. You gotta always be on that grind. Always be grinding. Oh, Garrett, do you follow Ash and Flash? Do you know who he is? Nope. So he's the guy. Have you watched? Uh, ever watched Just Two Goods? Um... Oh, what's it called? The like the collectible minifigure drafts where like he makes his own custom ones. Mm-hmm. I've seen a couple. Yeah, so he's like the guy who does the animations for it. So he actually did an animation for a prison mic one. Oh yeah. And I need to see if this is like an attainable figure. It looks so good. <laughs> where is it? I gotta find it. The hottest part about prison was, <laughs> dement was the dementors. Here, go 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 to the camera. This is this is what Oh, okay, is that gonna focus? Oh, it's too bright. I'll send you a picture of it. All right. But like, if like this is this, this is the way cool. to go if that's an like an achievable figure to make. That that will have to be looked into. We'll have to give that some deep thought because that one's fire. Am I the only one watching The Office uh, right now? Maybe because I'm not watching it because I'm building. But uh, The Office is fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. The Dementors. CT7567 <laughs> says, What's your favorite Darth Vader scene, Matt or Garrett? Ooh, Garrett, you can go first. Um, favorite Darth Vader scene would probably have to be... Um, hmm. It's tough. That, that's a tough one. There are some good ones. I think... Probably when he's talking to Luke after the end of their duel in Empire Strikes Back. So, basically, uh, the big "I'm your father" speech. Luke, I am your father. No. Um, for me, that's a tough question. Hmm. Honestly, the coolest scene with Vader, in my opinion, is definitely the Rogue One scene. But I feel like that's such a cliche answer, so I'm trying to think of something else. Um, 
I guess maybe it's just like the first scene in, in A New Hope, the first scene we get to see Vader is a pretty resonating one with me. With the music and then him walking onto the Tantive Four. Like that, that's pretty cool. I'd probably say that, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's a cool moment. That's, that's a good one. Dun, 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 Never dun, five get. Bricktown Studios asks, do you have any tips for someone starting on YouTube and trying to grow a channel more? Um, <laughs> so... I just looked at the picture you sent me. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I was like, don't, I like la don't laugh at him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but dude, isn't that figure like fantastic? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, anyways, back to the question. Um, so I, I mean, my channel is pretty, still like very small. So you should probably be asking some other bigger people. Um, but advice that I can give you is, um, be consistent. Because when you're consistent, YouTube puts you in their algorithm thing, and then it's um, easier for you to pop up in suggested feeds and stuff. Um, so that's number one. And I guess number two is try to invent different types of content, because there are already a lot of people doing what you probably want to do. Like, for instance, uh, me with the building series. There's obviously a couple of other people out there who are doing it, so you have to kind of find ways to separate yourself and so how I do that is number one by live streaming a lot I think it's pretty pretty important to live stream a lot now I want that to be like a big thing obviously like the gaming stuff um, and then I also like vlogs and stuff all that, all that good stuff so I'm not just like a typical building series channel um, so I'd say the biggest thing is to try and separate yourself and be affable Aff affable means to um, be likable and be very um, I guess be relatable I guess um, people will uh, gravitate towards you if you're a, a relatable person so I would say those are pretty, the big things Garrett Garrett only has two videos but he has half a thousand subscribers so Garrett do you want to explain how you did that <laughs> <laughs> well I think it already it helped having been a part of Jalen's channel so very true, very true. I had a lot of exposure already and I have, I have an Instagram page where I have, I don't know how many I have now, like 1,300 followers, so people know who I am, and I, I don't know, I feel like my videos aren't nothing special, but I would say I speak clearly, and mm, yes, just kind of basic stuff If like you that. go back to my older videos, I talk like I have a gun to my head, and I slur, like, my words so much. <laughs> it's it's really embarrassing, but like, if you look at that video and then look at my videos recently where I'm talking about um, like new set releases, like the Vader's Castle or like the Republic Attack video I made, um, you have to, speaking very clear is going to help you a lot. So that's a that's definitely a big thing. Well, Ogle, if you have words for Mr. David, he's going to be joining us fairly soon. So, ooh, ooh. Did, well, Ogle, did you see David's recent video? Because he, I think he, he himself actually wrote a comment saying, like, guys, before you ask, create is coming. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, David should be here in, like, an hour or so, or a little less. What's up, Jedi Bob? How are we doing today? The goat himself. The man, the myth, the legend. Jedi Bob. Safe bandit. It's a great moment. Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> Pull me up. You're too heavy. I only I only weigh 82 pounds. <laughs> oh my god. The, I was watching the episode um, when Mike went. No, what's this? Oh my god. What's her name? Michael's girl, first girlfriend. Not Jan, but the other one. Oh, his real life wife. Yeah, his real life wife. So after he dumps, he, she dumps her. She dumps him. And then him, Andy, Jim, Dwight, they all go to, like, the hibachi place. Mm hmm <laughs> And then Andy goes to the waitress, can I, can we get a round of Nagasaki's? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's such a facepalm moment right there. Dude, I love the, and this might just be because you and I talked about it before I even watched it, but the, when he's in the Italian restaurant with the Italian guy and he <laughs> orders the gabagool. <laughs> the gabagool. <laughs> She's like, what, what is that? And he's like, that? I don't know, it's the gabagool. <laughs> that was a great one. Ugh. Oh my god, there was... Oh, what was it? That, that, that just made me think of another one. I forget what it was, though. Um, shoot. 
Damn, I forget. It'll it'll pop up later. Uh, Ginger says, if David starts talking about cameras again, I'm leaving. Bro, that's that's rough. <laughs> you didn't like the camera talk? Bro, Come camera on. talk was dope. What do you mean? Matt, what's your thoughts on the Mandalorian TV series set robbed? Oh, was it really? I had no idea. That's... Guys, don't don't talk about that, alright? I'm trying to lay low. <laughs> Garrett can't contain his excitement, so we just had to go get some props real fast. I just love Mandalorian so much. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows how much I love Mandalorians. Mandalore? Oh, Mandalore boy. is just so cool. Like, I love my Star Wars anime ripoff Mandalorians. <laughs> I've been strongly debating about... So, like, my plan is to finish Kessel in probably around Christmas, maybe early, mid-January... I've been really debating on switching and doing a Clone Wars mock for the Clone Wars TV show. Oh. It's like, in the past, like, Clone Wars build series gets so many views compared to, like, anything else. And so, like, I want to obviously grow my channel because, you know, in a couple of, in like a couple of years, I'm going to have to get an actual job. Mm -hmm. Um... So I'm looking to obviously grow the channel, but I honestly, like, I feel like there's not a day goes by where anyone asks me for, like, when are you gonna do Clone Wars, all that good stuff. I'm sure you get that all the time too. Yeah, and I know I've told people like my dream Clone Wars mock would be to do, um, it's called uh, Umbara. Mm. So. Yeah. So I've been thinking about doing the Siege of Mandalore next. Don't quote me be... on it, but. All right, I'm gonna quote you on it. <laughs> okay, he's gonna quote me on it. <laughs> Watch freaking watch like David or Jay do the Siege of Mandalore, and then it's like create all over again. Uh, Bricktown Studio says I've been doing a building series as well as live streams, but stopped for a while. But my Instagram kept growing. Now I'm doing a huge Utapau mock. Okay, awesome. Garrett will go to prison and face the Dementors. <laughs> the Dementors. Dementors. <laughs> Great office moments, great office moments. I'm happy that you gave the office a second chance. I know, I'm so glad I did. It's all because we were just like It's such a life changing experience. It really was. I didn't I didn't give it enough props. I'm glad and I'm I'm yeah, I'm glad that I I'm glad I changed. The early seasons are so hard to watch because it's like so just like <laughs> horribly insensitive. <laughs> oh yeah. And that, that's the thing, because it's so relatable. Like we've all been around that like person that just says things like that and it's mm -hmm. like usually you're never in a position where you can like hey you can't say that because you normally it's it's like your boss or something you kind of have to be like yeah just bite the ball uh, that one. i don't know man <laughs> like that kind of response yeah. you know hi matt did you plan which parts of the mountain are light tan or do you just decide i just decide while i'm building i just like stagger it so i mean here i'll put this up on the camera you can see here already where the gray all that stuff is gonna go and then it's gonna like mix in between a little bit but it's just kind of all what I think while I'm doing it it's not really planned Gucci gang Gucci gang Gucci gang Gucci gang yeah 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 <laughs> Dwight get out of my nook that's a good one Ogle says he's never seen it, The Office before. Bro, you gotta you gotta get on that. It's it's a pretty good comedy show. It'll sure. it'll make your life complete. Plus, Anyone? you'll finally get like half of the internet's references. Yes, that's very true. You guys have no idea how many memes are a reference to The Office. Like it's, it's astounding. Ogle says, yo, this girl in my school called me Boyo, and I'm like, oof, you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how you know it's the one, huh? Spent racks on a new chain. Gucci gang, Gucci gang.
Aiden says rip a doyer. You, you you heard that Aiden left the left the Lego community? I saw that. Bro. Had, know, right. had me shook. And yeah, just I, I, I understand though, you know, you hit a you kinda hit a wall and you're like, this isn't really I'm not feeling it, so I you know, I understand. It's a respectable decision. But he just he just hit a thousand too. I was like, Oh, you're leaving? <laughs> you just hit a thousand. But hey, maybe he's he's slaying it at school or something. So you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. You do. <laughs> but liquor, our prices have never been lower. <laughs> <laughs> Great one. How dare you? <laughs> I saw a meme where it was like, "Don't claim you know hip hop if you don't know these two. And it was a picture of Dwight and and Michael and their like Scranicity rap song. <laughs> I was like, that's so true. They call it Scranton. What? The Electric City. Scranton. What? The Electric City. <laughs> got the free pizza. That's true. That means he won't be at, at, at Brickworld. That's that's kind of sad. He was cool. I, did, I, I only had that brief, inter not brief, but like I only interacted with him a little bit, but he was cool, dude. If I were a betting man, I'd say he'll be back in within the next two years. But that's just me. Who would you say is your favorite Office character? Is it Michael? Would you say Michael's your favorite? Oh, that's a tough question. See, like, I feel like Michael is such a typical response, though. Hmm. Favorite character. I think Daryl's a pretty underrated character, honestly. In, like, the later <laughs> half, he really kind Especially of... Especially in the later seasons. Yeah, exactly. Although, I guess, like, consistently, it would probably have to be Michael or Dwight because they they kind of like remain the same. It's consistently funny all the time. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. What, what what about you? I don't know. I think I do have to just go with Michael. Yeah, it's tough. They're all really really good. Stanley's pretty funny. I will admit. Stanley's great. And when he yells at Ryan, oh. when he thinks he's hitting on his his daughter. Oh, fantastic scene! <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Have you lost your damn mind? Oh, Creed. Creed's a good one. A little ask, Garrett. When is that new mock starting up, my dude? Um, in theory tonight, but that's in theory though. So, so in actuality, maybe like actually no, can't be tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna be playing Red Dead Redemption too. <laughs> Um, we'll say tonight. I might, I might, I might stay up and kind of get the groundwork started. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we'll probably won't be live till about midnight my time, but I'm probably gonna stay up later and play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so, Ooh. yeah. Sorry if that's a disappointment, but I like to play video games too. Boy, have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. <laughs> I think that's a dream of mine is to have like a I would love to I think if I whenever I start being more active on my Garrett Bricks account I would love to you know just stream playing like some video games and and such mm -hmm. I'm a big gamer so be cool yeah we should do that more often now for sure need to improve my setup a bit no one wants to watch me play games at medium settings <laughs> Gotta invest in that. Uh, what is that? The new GTX twenty whatever. Uh, that's the new gen they just announced, right? Yeah, it's insane. I'll probably, I, I'll probably since the graphics card prices have finally gone down after the whole you know Bitcoin mining craze. Yeah, I, I probably will save up and get. Maybe I was thinking about getting a ten eighty. Mm -hmm. I have a ten eighty, and it runs everything at what I need. Oh, yeah, to no, do. that's a, it's a great graphics card. I mean, it's like at its price, you know, at like five six hundred bucks or whatever you know if you don't go for the all the bells and whistles that's like 
you know that's cheaper than like you know your titans and everything from back mm -hmm. the pre the generation before that and it's cheaper but it like blow it blew everything out of the water you know like the 1080 was definitely a, the best graphics card mm -hmm. really yeah until i guess this new gen so i was either thinking of springing for a 10 8 like a 1080 or maybe like a 1070 ti what's how much what's the price difference between 1080 and 1080 ti so I've, I was seeing, depending on like who you go with and like if you want to get it overclocked and stuff, but like I was seeing like oh, 1080 you don't, you don't need overclock, right? I mean, not, I, I don't because I don't plan on playing like maxed out VR games all the time. So. Yeah. yeah um, but I was seeing like 1080 Ti's for like six, seven hundred. I don't know how stuff's, much about yours for. Do you, have a, do, you have, do you have a Ti or is it just a regular 1080? Yeah, I have a T. So my, I have a Ti. My dad's a I, I'm pretty sure I've told him this, but my dad. Yeah, you've told me. Yeah, my dad's a big gamer, so he uh, he likes to get like the next gen stuff. So I'll just get whatever his old thing is. That's so awesome. Man. Yeah, I wish I could get secondhand 1080 Ti. <laughs> secondhand 1080 Ti's. <laughs> yeah, I'm super lucky when it comes to that. I kind of do want to start a gaming channel though, but I don't know how active I'd be on that. And then it, that just has to be like another thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I do want to. I'm pretty different when I when I play games. Like I'm not. I could be funny as hell. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Ryan has his MNR Games channel. It's true. I I kind of forget that exists sometimes. Yeah. Like it seems fun though, so I'll probably give it a shot eventually. Yeah, I was thinking of making an account called Garrett Games. Garrett. Right up Garrett Bricks and Garrett Ooh, Games. Garrett right? Games. What, what, Garrett what, would, what would be a good one for me, though? There's nothing like Wiz whatever game. That doesn't make sense. Wiz. Gaming Wiz. Gaming Wiz. Jeez, that sounds awful. <laughs> 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 Let's not do that. <laughs> Gaming Wiz, bro. Come on, make it happen. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, what's up, Lawless? Been a while, been a while, for sure. The game was. The game was. Or just brick. Brick was gaming. I mean, that's true. That's pretty simple. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Spence and Rex and a new chain. <laughs> now, if I did a gaming channel, it would have to be like no no sensory. I just go whatever like comes to mind. No like PG rated and stuff. Oh yeah, no, I I, I feel you there. It have to be all out, completely all out. There's gonna be so many fricks and hex. <laughs> Won't be a Christian Minecraft server no more. I'll tell you that. The Gucci game, Maddie B gaming. <laughs> Maddie B gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Or no, Maddie B games with a Z. Ooh, the edginess I could feel it. Well, it's a little throwback to your to your Brickwiz channel. You know? That is true. That is very true. Elite gamer Z Z Z Z. Imagine a life where you build Lego and play video games for a living. I mean, that would be kind of the dream, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's that's what Ryan's doing right now. I guess. <laughs> I know. Just just how many subscribers does he, does he have? On his gaming. On his his main channel. His mains is like 104 now. See, that's all you gotta do is get 104,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot harder than <laughs> just saying it. That'd be awesome, though. The Matt Wiz. <laughs> the Matt Wiz. <laughs> and have rage compilations. Oh, rage compilations would be so funny. I used to do those on YouTube with my friends. I'm not going to share any links or channel names because it's, it's really embarrassing stuff. Fair. I'll, I'll, I'll show it probably off screen. Like, I'll just give you a link, Garrett. But like public-wise, <laughs> I'm not going to do that to myself. 
I couldn't handle it. But it was fun though. It was really funny. The whizzing gamer? That, that sounds weird. <laughs> sounds like I want to get pissed. Matt, super Fortnite Minecraft player. Eh. Oh God. <laughs> no thanks. Maybe, maybe play Fortnite. Not really about that Minecraft anymore. Not really about that mine that Minecraft life no more. Unfortunately. Whizzing Bricks Gaming. Eh. Pro Gamer Matt XXX. <laughs> oh god. What I would mostly do on my gaming channel is play a lot of Total War, if anyone is familiar with that series. Mm. Rome Total War, fantastic game. Oh yeah, that's what the game that got me into it. I, I play a ton of the newest one, Warhammer 2 Total War. I want to get that, it looks really fun, but I don't want to play it by myself, so... Dude, if you get it, I would, I'd play with... I play it all the time, like, if you got it, I would definitely play with you. Bro, we're gonna make it happen. Like, I have another friend I play, we have a couple of co-op campaigns we play every now and then. Mm. Great game. Great game. It's fantastic. Matt, do you like or heard of Planet Coaster? I don't know what that is. I've heard of it. It's a, it's like kind of like a roller coaster tycoon type game, if you're, if you're familiar. Oh, uh, okay. It's kind of like a, you know, it's like a sandbox building game. You build, you design oh, roller coasters and okay. stuff. Gotcha. Gucci Gang Matt Games. <laughs> Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. I don't know why that's in my head. And like now of all times, because the song's been out for quite a while now. Are you a Call are you a Call of Duty player at all, Matt? I used to be. Like COD four and like maybe MW two was probably the extent of when I played a lot. Mm hmm But then ever since then I can't handle all the jumping around and Skirt skirting everywhere it just gives me a headache. Yeah, that's a little too twitch twitch shooter. shooter yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's it's definitely focused on like entertainment for viewers now. I feel. Yeah. So I heard the newest one. The newest one doesn't even have a single player mode. Like they've just fully. I wouldn't be surprised. That, I haven't. Which checked. makes sense, but. That's sad though. The campaigns in the older CODs were awesome. Oh, they were great. I like the Modern Warfare campaigns were amazing. Dude, those are fun as heck. Those were heckin' fun, bro. Heckin' good times were had. Some good hex. Some good rips, some good hex. Yeah, I guess I just don't play a whole lot of multiplayer anymore, really. Unless it's, like, with a friend. Mm -hmm. I gotta close Discord's making beep noises. That's probably my least favorite aspect of Discord. There is a way to turn it off, I'm pretty sure. There um, is, but I have not found it yet. I think like stream. It's I think it's called streamer mode, where you just don't get notifications. Uh, okay. But who knows? I do not play Overwatch, Lawless Griddles. Do you yeah, play do. any Overwatch? I do not either. Not out of a lack of desire to. It's just I haven't really. It looks so hectic. Oh my god. Looks like there's way too much stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just... I don't play a lot of multiplayer, so...
Where's the brick gaming? <laughs> Where's the brick? <laughs> I'd probably just do something not even like Wiz related though, honestly. I'd probably do like Maddie F or something like that. Something very simple. Maddie F, baby. Maddie F. Childhood nickname, Maddie F. The whiz whiz whiz. Eh. That's, that's an eh. The whizzy whiz. Waka waka whiz. I don't know if I've ever asked you this, but has did like did whiz come from anything, or is that just kind of we're like trying to come up with a unique the brick something name? So I originally wanted to do the brick destination. Oh, Believe okay. it or not, happy I went brick whiskey. That's that resonates a little easier, I think. Um, but then apparently it was taken or something. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to do something else. I was like, oh, what's a what's a family friendly thing? And then it's just like brick whiz. I was like, oh, okay, we'll try that out for a little bit. Yeah, that's a good one. Shout out to all the uh, OGs who remember my original uh, channel background with the uh, with Luke. <laughs> with the, it's like the scene where, um, it's like the trench run scene where Darth Vader's chasing Luke, but ex except they're on like bicycles or something. <laughs> it was so stupid. I wish you could listen to actual music on YouTube without being freaking copyright flagged. That's the only thing that makes me jealous of the Twitch streamers is because there's really no copyright infringement because it doesn't mm -hmm. get processed as anything. Like, I would totally be banging out some Gucci, some Gucci, some, uh, some Gucci, some Gucci gang. Oh, I hate when you can see filler through the mountain. Oh, it triggers me. Do you think the office could work nowadays with with what Michael said? I definitely don't think it would because people would get really butthurt and triggered. Um, so definitely not definitely not I feel like you could you might have to just change up some of a little bit because like it's it's very subtle how it was originally and so like it's one of those things it's kind of like south park where they say a lot of like really horrible and offensive things but like the joke isn't on the target of those offensive jokes the joke is that you're laughing at you're laughing at it's like you're not laughing along with Cartman. You're laughing at Cartman. Yeah. Because like you're like I like you're like oh this is a guy that actually like thinks this way. Whereas with the office is kind of the same thing. You're not really laughing with Michael. So I think they would probably have to they would make have to make Michael a little less like lovable. You know, mm -hmm. with some of the stuff he says, you'd have to you'd have to make him straight up like villain. I guess. Yeah, that'd be that'd be terrible. I, honestly, I'm fine with them just leaving it at where it's at now. That's completely fine with me. Mm -hmm. But it would be cool, though, for sure. Or just, like, a reunion special or something. Oh, they should do, like, another Christmas special. Like, an office Christmas party like they always do. Those mm -hmm. are good episodes. Those are very good episodes. Hey, what's going on, BFAB? How you doing, my guy? What's up, Tan Bricks? We've only been live for about an hour, so haven't been live for that long. You 
Just finished school. Oh, uh, do you not live in the U.S., I'm assuming? <laughs> have you watched The Office UK, Garrett? I have not. It's tr so trash. <laughs> it's not even... It's not oh, even really? funny. It's like, it's awful. It's actually awful. I've just heard that it's much more of the, like, original kind of awkward humor. It is very awkward humor, but it's trash humor. It's not good. That could be me being biased, because America, but... Well, America is obviously better, so... America is awesome. You watch Parks and Rec? I do not. I couldn't really get in, get into Parks and Rec, if I'm being honest. The problem with Parks and Rec is that the first season and a half are just terrible. Is it like, worth watching? It's really bad. Oh, yeah, because honestly, like, when it gets good, it's really good. It's really funny. Okay. But I never finished it, so I might be the wrong person to talk to. It's just for what I, from what I watched, I remember greatly enjoying it. So I, I watched, so the first, no, I think it was the second time I got, on, got done watching The Office, Parks and Rec came up and recommended. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. But then I, I didn't find it funny, and I think I, I thought, I guess, that it was like trying to be The Office too much. And I was like, this is stupid. So That's definitely, watch. yeah, season one is definitely just trying to be like an Office clone. And then it kind of comes into its own in season two. Mm-hmm. I've been looking for a new show. I actually, first things first, I have to rewatch the Clone Wars because that's that. I've not done that in a very long time. But yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll check it out. Yeah. You should watch Always Sunny though if you want to find it. I've watched a little bit of that. I haven't watched a lot. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Definitely the greatest show, greatest comedy show of all time. Oh, okay. My in this humble in this humble man's opinion. This humble man's. Yo guys, if we hit thirty five likes, I'll bring out my Doge for a little bit. She's sleeping on Ooh. my bed. You can't see her, but she's sleeping right there. Give me thirty five. Rest of the development's also really good, Ginger Bricks. I've not watched that actually. A really good show. It's on Netflix too, so. Seems fun. Can't really speak for the the Netflix seasons of Arrested Development. I haven't really watched them, but the original three seasons are fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, sir. At least this mountain building is not going as slow as it was initially. I'm actually getting a decent amount done right now, which is one of which I'm happy with. What's up, Nerd Brick? What's going on? 33 likes, guys. Let's get two more, and you can see you can see legendary Sophie. Legend. I need dark gray. I'm in that mood to play Assassin's Creed right now so bad. <laughs> I just want to I just want to chill out, honestly. I I'm, I'm going to probably get like whatever mountain stuff I've done there and then depending on what time it is, probably we'll probably cut it there. I don't know, after a long week of school and then work last night, all I want to do is just like chill out. I feel that like I just when you're just like craving like dude, I just want to like play a video game just chill yeah I just wanna like play a video game watch The Office in the background that's life right there do you have work in the morning like do you have to get off at a certain time tonight nope yay I'm off tomorrow I'm off tomorrow I'm just going to visit some family but 
I'm not really. I don't have to be up at a certain time for that. I, I'm planning on going and buying Cloud City tomorrow, though. So. Ooh. Exciting. <sighs> Freemakers Adventures is where it's at. Oh, God, I'm triggered. <laughs> Hey, ain't nothing wrong with the Freemakers, right? Hey, power to the Freemakers. Or, yeah. Power to the players. It's EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> we're not got 35 guys. Do you not want to see the Doge? I'm sad. She wants to see oh. you guys. Is it Sophie? She's, like, snuggling. You said your dog's name is Sophie, too, right? Yep, that is correct. Do you remember that? Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Have you seen um, Jay's Vardo smock in person with all the lights and stuff? Uh, uh I don't know how much he's added. I haven't watched his last like his last update video, but I saw it like a couple weeks ago. Bro, it's crazy. That dude, that man has a gift with lights. It's crazy. That's looking fantastic. And like they're not even kits too. They're like like he like I, I to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure he like he cut them and like did all the stuff mm -hmm. with them. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Very crazy. I found a cannon mod in Empire at War, but it's kinda weird. Cannon mod? What do you mean? It's like, it's like a, I don't know, what do you mean by that? Oh, every mod is Legends. This mod has Rogue One. Oh, yeah, okay. That's just cool. I just I I want um, I want them to make an updated version of Empire at War with like stunning graphics and like that would just be the best game ever. I feel like I wanted Disney got the license. I was like, like I thought they would be pumping out video games left and right, you know, but. It's been kind of dis I feel like it's been disappointing so far. Like I know a lot of people like Battlefront, but I mean I like, like it too, but it's nothing great. Like, and like that just... one, um, the single player game that was in development like got canceled. So it's like, you know, you're already kind of. I don't know. I just want a yeah. good single player. Jamie Grove asked, "Did you buy anything to get the minifigure frame?" I did not, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I bought the Falcon literally two days before double VIP points, and that's that GWP. So, and because I'm not an official permanent employee, I don't even think I get it. You don't get one? I don't. I haven't asked. You should ask, cause it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be able to get one. Hopefully. Oh gosh, Raging Alcoholic is in the chat. Hello. <laughs> I thought I felt the disturbance in the force. Raging Alcoholic. <laughs> What a name. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. EA pays $10 million to get Star Wars license focuses on Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know what's stopping them from making a new and updated version of freaking Empire at War. That would be such a good game. Like, ah, oh, that'd be awesome. 
Who is that talky dude? If you read the title, you, you'll find out who the talky dude is, silly goose. But yeah, and I, I, I kind of share that sentiment, Ginger Bricks. It's like, come on, Just give us like, give us Knights of the Old Republic three. Ooh, ooh, that'd be nice. Give us another, give us Empire at War two. Another solid choice. You, know, you can make Star Wars Battlefront three. You can make that be your Star Wars Call of Duty or whatever you want it to be. Like, but give us are good. Give the fans what they want. Just give us something. Just one thing. We're not asking for much here. What's up, Ryan? Amander? Yeah. Just leaving the baseball field. Did you get that dub today? Won one and lost one. Oh, okay. Which I think is what we wanted to do. So, I'll take it. <laughs> you want to you wanna eat that dub for sure? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to McDonald's now. Here we go. Are you, a big, are you a Big Mac guy or do you roll with the McNuggets? It's all about the chicken tenders right now. I was oh, McNuggets, but once chicken tenders came out, it's it's been like twenty eight to one tender to nugget ratio as far as my purchasing is. I gotcha. Respectable choice, respectable choice. Yeah. Nuggets are where it's at. Or the but tenders are where it's at. Guy myself. No, I don't do hamburgers. None you don't do no. hamburgers at all? No. Oh, missing out. Ah, uh, get more chicken. I was just saying, we're probably gonna only be live for like another 20 minutes, because I really just want to like chill out, but we're... I'm, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I bought the new Assassin's Creed, and I kind of want to play that right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <sighs> no. Video games over Lego, it's like, is Lego even your life? <laughs> I know Star Wars isn't yours, you bum. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm frankly, you know. Never gonna let that one go, ever. It's not true, I tell you. It's just not true. It was a it was a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> it was lost in translation, I think. Are David and Jay coming or is it just us? Uh I think Jay's watching a football game. David said he would be here, but I don't know what he's doing. Oh yeah, football's on. Who's playing? The Texans and the Dolphins. Oh, I don't blame. I'd be if the Patriots were playing, I wouldn't be here. I don't blame. <laughs> the Celtics game's over, so I got nothing to fall back on. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's an off night for the World Series. Real shame. Red Sox. Red Sox about to sweep. That dude. Boston team, dope as heck, bro. Yeah, it must suck for the Yankee fans and the Astro fans that have, uh, you know, come out of the woodworks here. <laughs> Come out of the woodworks. <laughs> Your bandwagon broke down. I've never bandwagoned once in my I know, life. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's that's a shame, dude. If there's one thing I'm morally opposed to because I'm a Yankees fan, other than the Red Sox, it's bandwagoners. Yeah. It's gross. Some someone in chat named not a fan of MNR Productions asks, "Is that MNR Productions?" I don't know, is it? Is it? I don't know. You should you should know, you're not a fan. <laughs> you should know the voice. Come on, man. The, ca the cadence. Get on the game. What are you doing? Call of Duty Blackout. Ah! <laughs> Come to Papa. Oh, I've been playing the sh crap out of that. <laughs> I know, I feel like you're live every other every night on your freaking game channel. I am, and tonight's like the first day I haven't done it in a while. And I'll do like, I did like six hours the other day, just Jeez. live. That's why I played more before or after. That's crazy. I want the best. 
Sven Nice. Sven Nice. I'm waiting on one more order for my mock, and then it's going to be what it is. Nice. October comes to an end. I'm going to miss the intros, but there's always next year. The intros are so much fun. I'm going to make a good one for the last one. <laughs> we'll see. Someone asked, can I Ryan hear you? No. Suffering. You guys are dumb. Got him. All right, I said dumb. I'm going to eat all the chicken tenders. Give me them chicken Seven tenders, boy. You make me hungry. I know. Midnight snack right here. Although it's basically like 8 p.m. for me. Nah, I'm <laughs> like 7 p.m. I'm basically West Coast lifestyle. I should move to Cali. Move to LA, be a, a true YouTuber. Oh, God. <laughs> Go live in LA. Daily yeah, vlog right? channel coming out soon. If I were to move anywhere, it would be North Georgia, South Carolina, maybe North Carolina, or Massachusetts. Those are like maybe Virginia. Virginia's pretty nice, but it's, I don't know. Not Virginia. Those are like my four states that I would consider. Virginia's nice. Everything else is uh, There are Virginia two states. Virginia's nice, but it's too, there's too many people there. Too many people. I would live in Texas, Texas or Colorado. Oh, what? oh. I'm already in Texas, so there you well, go. I said why Colorado, and then I was like, oh. Is it because skiing, or is it because the Dungeons <laughs> let us? <laughs> <laughs> Because I just love the weather there. It's amazing. <laughs> also, the other hey, thing. Hey, I just passed by a dope Hooters. Also, the other thing. We're live. I gotta be careful. So you're really into farming and stuff, Garrett? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not, 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 not farms really. like Director Krennic. Like Director Krennic. Simple life. Someone just typed in chat, good morning, low gang, what's poppin'? Can I get an F? <laughs> Can I get an F for Logan Paul? He's never been the same. Sad times. Or happened to Logan Paul. Paul? Some sad oh, hours, bro. Yeah. Matt, can you ask Ryan if he got my comment that says, "Do you think Lego will ever make a Kessel Run Millennium Falcon?" I'm assuming you mean, you mean UCS. I don't. I personally don't that's think they will. That's a fat no, yeet for me. No. Yeah, I was about to say I don't think so. I get all the comments. It's the <laughs> question of whether or not I can read them because I get too many now. Pumping I out. spend time reading them every few days. Usually, I'll look at like the recent, like the first couple hours of like my most recent video, and then I'll just kind of like go on with my day. Because mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna sit there and just read everything. It's just not feasible. Popular. So how was when you get break that hundred k barrier? Hell yeah. Come to pop, dude. I hate. Oh my god, I hate. Com I. This is why I've stopped reading comments a lot too. I make a video and it's Lego messed up. Holiday twenty eighteen Lego shopping catalog. Lego did mess up. They called you. They called MBS Cloud City UCS. And I still get told I'm clickbaiting. I just you can't <laughs> avoid it. You can't you can't f and avoid it. You can't win. So I just get, I give up. Haters I, ha haters I, gonna hate, bro. I realized the other day though that I need to ban the word clickbait from my comment section. So I think I'm gonna do that when I get around to it. Haters gonna just hate. so I don't have to see. I just don't want to see it. I don't. Wanna, I, I I refuse to believe. Haters I'm looking at my find own something world. To hate about. Yeah. I'm in Ryan's world, though. I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. I was about to say, I don't think you're one to get butthurt over comments, so I think you're good. Nah, I just get like, I don't know, I get frustrated. I'll, I'll sometimes, every once in a while I'll reply and I'll be like, I shouldn't reply to this person, but I'm like, I'm mad. <laughs> but then like your <laughs> ego takes over and you want to put them in their place. Yeah, that's probably what it is. There was oh. one dumbass comment that I got recently. It was on the, Whoa, it was on the Republic. under the bus. It was on the freaking Republic Attack oh, I video I made. Thing. And then yep. someone commented, was like, uh, you're just doing this to mooch off Ryan's uh, fame. You should stop monetizing this video and actually <laughs> donate. And I was like, bro. Did you, you know what I got? Dude, I, I got a comment on my video. Or I got multiple comments, I think. And they got put in the spam. So I read them in the spam. And I was like, F you for monetizing this video about his stolen Lego. I'm like, dude, <laughs> okay, man. Okay. 
Like, first of like, all, like I donated fifty dollars. <laughs> I also paid the forty dollar bank fee. I I organized the whole. Ah, uh, you can't win. You can't win on the internet. Don't read your comments, and you'll you be happy with your life. You can't win on the internet. That's, and, the, and that's it's like, the moral of the story. It's like so many of these stupid conversations and comments can e- can be easily remedied by them just actually either reading a pinned comment or watching the video, actually. so Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, like, it's just, it's always, like, a select... Fee. It's never, like... I don't know. It's always, like, a silent majority or, like, a vocal minority, rather. Like, it's never, like, everyone. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's, it's always, always, it's always a, a very people, small amount. Like, yeah, it's always I'll a very small like, amount. Like, at the end of the day, I don't really care, but, like, in the moment, I'm just like, dude, why is this guy so stupid? Yeah. Well, it's annoying, because <laughs> you put, like, time and effort into a video, and then you just get a yeah. stupid-ass person be like, ooh. Yeah, that's probably the most frustrating part about it. Like, it doesn't, I don't know. Like, these videos don't take two seconds to make. I think about it too much. <laughs> you probably do. But, I mean, hey, whatever you're doing's working, right? So, who cares? Yeah. Alright, I'm about to, about to launch into Assassin's Creed mode right now. I'm about to launch into McDonald's drive through mode. Here we go. What we want? We want four chicken nugget tenders. Should we get nuggets or tenders? Mm, I'm a fan of the I'm a fan of the tenders, honestly. Hold on. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Chronic Lug just commented. Chronic Lug is better than Empire Lug. Oh god, Ooh. I'm triggered. Hi, can I get two four count chicken tenders and a large, <laughs> uh, two four count chicken tenders and a large fry quality live stream? I'm so sorry, sir. I can't hear the first part. Two, <laughs> quantity two, four count, <laughs> that's four chicken tenders. Two quarter pounders? Two four count chicken tenders. Just the tenders, and then I also want a lo- no sauce, no sauce, please. Can get sauces, dude. Get sweet and sour, bro. Get I'm and then a food. large French fry. All this man wants is some McDonald's. That will be all. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? I my wallet. For a second, I was like, oh, do I have my wallet? And I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> that was funny. Two I can two quarter piece. pounders. I'm like, that's quantity two. Quantity two. two. <laughs> yes, Deshaun that's... passed to DeAndre Hopkins for a touchdown. What's the score? Oh, I don't know. Oh. 35 to 20, Jesus. Just, I have DeAndre Hopkins on my fantasy team, so. Uh... Hey, Drink T's here. There we go. Drink Tizzle? I was getting, I was worried. He says he didn't get the notification. Oh, no. What's been going on? Drink tea. Do you have that bell icon clicked? If you don't, that's why. <laughs> Someone just said Ryan said an naughty on stream. Guys, if you're ever hungry after a sporting event, you'll want your food. Chick fil A is closed. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Chick-fil-A just always hungry. Is so good. I already went there today anyway. <laughs> oh, God. I think the Texans are winning, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, they are. 35 to 20. Oh, yeah, dude. Thanks for beating up on the AFC East for me. Dolphins that'd, are, that'd basically they're, they're the being Dolphins led by the Brock playoffs. Lobster. The Brock yeah. <laughs> Dolphins are hot garbage. Yeah, they suck. Patriots once again reign supreme, and tis the season for the Super Bowl. And Bel- Belichick get, grows one year older. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there, It's guy. inevitable. <laughs> one day, yeah, I'm telling you, man, one day. Okay, I'm tired of building Lego today. Okay, yeah. that's going to wrap it up. So, I'll show you guys what we did. So, like I said before, we kind of had to redo the mountain, so... Surprising amount of work done only for an hour and a half today, but... I'm super tired, I just want to chill. School had me shook this week for midterms, so I'm just want, I just want to relax. Um, anyways, thank you, Garrett, and thank you, Ryan, for, for joining. Um, hopefully, we can do this again. Hopefully, next week, we can do like another one of those uh, Kessel Falcon live streams where we have like a long stream, because that was fun last time. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, stream. I'll see you later. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, peace out. Adios, everyone. Goodbye, stream.